Hi, Speaker Cooper here, the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta, and welcome to a behind the scenes tour of the Legislature of Alberta. This is a sneak a peek to where the public rarely gets to go. The Legislative Assembly is always keen on furthering young minds and teaching them about the legislative process and the historical traditions of the Assembly. The Legislative Assembly offers educational and outreach programs, activities for school groups and the public. For school groups, we have the Education Centre. It's located in the Pedway system between the Federal Public Building and the Legislature itself. Welcome to a Legislature classroom. This classroom is a dedicated space for teachers and students that provides everything that they need for their unique experience of the school at the Legislature. It really lets them move in and experience the legislative process and all that the Legislature has to offer. This is a mock Legislature classroom where students participate in the actual argy-bargy of debate. They are fully immersed in the legislative process. Students are each given a role to play. Of course, my favorite, the speaker. The clerk, the lieutenant governors, pages, the table officers, MLAs, and so on. When this activity is done in person, students wear costumes or use props to enhance this experience. The mock legislature program guides students through the process of a bill becoming law from first reading, second reading, committee of the whole, and all the way to royal assent. Through this activity, students also learn about the daily routines, ceremonies, and traditions of the legislature, such as the procession, opening prayers, introduction of visitors, the significance of the mace, and even the black rod. The mock legislature activity also opens a conversation about the responsibilities that individuals have in a democracy. The activity can be offered in English or French. It can also be offered remotely. For more information, visit assembly.ab.ca. Welcome to the South Members Lounge. It is a narrow room across the south end of the chamber that connects the two sides of the house, the government side and the opposition side. I call it the Peace Lounge. All members of the Legislative Assembly have access to this unique space. Most MLAs actually like each other. And here in the South Members Lounge, it's an opportunity for members who are debating inside the house to come to this space and have a conversation uh, often a jovial or friendly one and talk about the going-ons inside the assembly uh, much about what happens when is negotiated here in the south members lounge by the government house leader or the opposition house leader the south members lounge reminds us that the legislative assembly is a non-partisan entity serving not just government members, but all MLAs. It is the space that is the responsibility of the speaker, not the premier or the government. Likewise, the staff who work here at the Legislative Assembly Office are nonpartisan and support all MLAs. This applies not just to pages and security officers, but all staff. We've opened a very special door for you this afternoon. And this is what I call the peace porch. This is the South members porch that allows members to get outside, get a breath of fresh air. You know, sometimes inside the assembly, things can get quite heated. They have an opportunity to have a spot to cool off. Members can come talk about the going ons inside the assembly or just take a bit of a refresher and enjoy the view. Though most staff never see the South Members Lounge, it really is a behind the scenes spot at the Legislative Assembly of Alberta. Look up, look way up, and welcome to the Speaker's Gallery. The Speaker's Gallery is a great bird's eye view of the proceedings of the assembly. 
special guests, visitors, parliamentarians, diplomats, or even my friends get this great opportunity to see the assembly in action from here in the speaker's gallery. There are also a couple of staff from the Legislative Assembly Office who sit here in this gallery. Hansert is the official report of parliamentary proceedings. Basically, it's a transcript of every single word that is said in the chamber or in a committee of the legislature. While the assembly is in session, an editor sits at the far corner taking notes for other editors in the Hansert office. And an operator sits here in the crow's nest right above the chamber clock. When the speaker calls on a member to speak, the operator touches the console and turns on the microphone. The audio from the microphone goes to the TV broadcast, the web stream, and the Hansert office for the transcript. You can access all of those through the assembly website. The wall behind the console operator is part of a two-part painting called Sunrise and Sunset by world-renowned indigenous artist Alex Janvier. Mr. Janvier is known around the world for his stunning abstract works. Sunrise and Sunset unveiled in the chamber in March 2019. Sunrise is at the other end of the chamber, high above the speaker, on the wall located in the press gallery. Media are an essential component of any democratic society. They provide information that people need to make responsible and informed decisions. The press gallery was established so that media could monitor the assembly proceedings. Nowadays, since proceedings are streamed live on the internet and are available on TV, the media often doesn't come to the chamber, but it's very important that they have access to the chamber and they still can join us in person. Welcome to the fifth floor of the legislature and a great room called the Carillon Room. If you can believe it, this fifth floor room was originally designed to hold Alberta's first natural history museum. Talks regarding a provincial museum began in 1908 when Catherine Hughes was appointed the first provincial archivist. From 1909 to 1923, newspapers continued to mention the natural history projects that would be placed in the parliament buildings. Percy B. Gregson formed a society called the Northwest Entomological Society and donated a collection to the new Alberta government. 2,000 insects, three hammers from First Nation bands, a mounted eagle, part of a fossilized tusk, preserved birds and fish. This museum was in place until 1967 when, as a centennial project, the 305 Bell Carillon was installed, a gift to the province from the Department of the Provincial Secretary. The cost of the original Carillon was approximately $50,000. The first provincial Carilloneur, Douglas G. Milson, was appointed. Daily performances were the norm until 1996 when recordings replaced live concerts. In 2011, a digital carillon was installed to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the building. The original carillon is now housed in the visitor center in the federal public building. Well, it's been my great pleasure to be able to spend some time with you, showing you the things that make me excited every day, the behind the scenes tour of here at the legislature. I hope that you can come visit us real soon. For more information, check out our website at assembly.ab.ca for more facts and tidbits about our assembly or to find out more information about how you can visit in person.